I'm running Floodlight locally as a virtual machine on my local machine, the one I'm recording on, and I've SSH'd to that. This is an IP address of 192.168.56.57, and let's see if we can ping that Ubuntu box. So this is the Ubuntu box connected on port zero, and this machine should be connected to port one. In OpenFlow, notice Ethernet zero is shown as port one, and Ethernet one is shown as port two. So this is my Ubuntu system, and Open Daylight is over here on port two. So I'm able to send traffic through the Raspberry Pi on port two out of port one to this device. Just to show you that again, so once again, I'm able to ping from this machine through the Raspberry Pi to this machine. So let's see what performance is like. So IPperf server. So IPperf is listening on this machine. IPperf, and let's look at some help. So format. I'm going to put it as megabits per second. So format is megabits per second. We're a client and we're going to 192.168.56.120. Let's see what the performance is like through a Raspberry Pi Zero after we've turned the Raspberry Pi into an OpenFlow enabled switch. As you can see here, the speed is 105 megabits per second. I'll do that again, 99.8 megabits per second. That's not bad performance, I would say, for a $5 computer that we've turned into an open flow switch for testing. So unless you've got a broadband connection that's greater than 100 megabits per second, the Raspberry Pi Zero will probably not slow your network down too much. I wanna prove that we can use a full open flow and SDN architecture by creating a flow that denies traffic to a device in the network. So at the moment, I'm able to ping 192.168.56.120, and just to reiterate, that device is connected on port one on this open flow switch. My local PC has an IP address of 192.168.56.199. So that's the PC over here in the topology that's connected to port two. So when I send traffic to 192.168.56.120, that traffic is going through the Raspberry Pi to that destination. And we can prove that by blocking traffic. So I'm gonna write a flow entry that says any traffic coming in on port one, so any traffic in on this port, port one, where these two hosts reside, will be dumped. So we're gonna just drop all traffic. As you can see, that entry has been added, and notice my pings are timing out. There are two hosts connected to port one, 120 and 185. Can I ping 185? No, I'm not able to. Can I ping 120? Pings are timing out. But let's delete that flow entry and notice the pings succeed. I can ping both 185 and 120. So let's do that again. I'll send a continuous ping to 185. I'll add a flow entry saying any traffic coming in on port one will be dropped because I'm not specifying an action such as output to controller or output to a port or output to normal, the traffic is gonna be dropped. So I'll add that flow entry and as soon as I add it, the pings start being dropped. Traffic is not permitted. I'll delete that flow entry and pings start succeeding once again. So I've just demonstrated how to integrate 
probably the cheapest open flow switch you can find, a Raspberry Pi Zero with an open flow controller using the Raspberry Pi as an open flow switch running open flow with an SDN controller and then writing rules to the open flow switch to permit or deny traffic.